Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tim Michael. Welcome to my secondary channel, Tim Michael Arts 2, where I do reviews and lots of vlogs with my beautiful wife, Shay. Now, I got a very interesting thing that came over my Facebook today about a new pen that's coming out on the market for tablets and phones. Now, this pen is a lot different than usual, and I'm going to talk to you about it here on this video in just a second. So yet another piece of technology that has come through the Kickstarter gates, and this guy is called the Free, P-H-R-E-E. -E. Basic idea behind this pen, this pen that was designed by a group in Israel called OTM Tech. The basic idea behind the pen is that it is one that you can use with your tablet or with your phone anywhere. Now it's not just that you're going to be drawing on your tablet or your phone screen, because many new phones like the Note 4 and many other ones already have their styluses included with pressure sensitivity. But this pen is a little different because you can take it and you can draw anywhere on any surface. So it links to your phone via Bluetooth and then as you go and you decide you want to write something, instead of writing say on your phone, you write on any other surface. And as you write on those other surfaces, it translates to the phone. Kind of an interesting idea. The thing is that you are drawing blind, if you will, so you can't look at what you're drawing. It doesn't have any kind of ink in the pen. So what you're writing right there is transferred over here. So what you need to be doing is focusing on the phone or on the tablet as you're writing and focusing on what it's saying. An interesting te piece of technology to say the least. The Free is a textured silver exterior with a button right on the top, right where you would put your finger. And I am not certain if you would need to hold down that button to draw or not. I think that would be a little annoying if you had to hold that button down. But the interesting thing is that on the back of the pen, the pen is, it is tall and then very thin otherwise. So you can expect it to be tall on one side and then thin on the top and on the bottom. So on one side of it, there is a notification bar, digital notification bar. So as you get notifications in from your phone, they come right here onto your pen. You can answer phone calls, you can look at notifications and messages, and lots of other little things that they're saying. It's an awful lot like a smartwatch. They also say that you can actually use it as a handset. So when you get a phone call in, you can hit the answer button on the notification and then put it up to your ear and talk like a handset that you would have in an old-fashioned uh, telephone or whatever. Old-fashioned, look at me talking about old-fashioned telephones. That was my era, okay? Just saying, cell phones now are the big thing. But back in, back in my day, the old-fashioned telephone was a big piece of thing that you could slam down when you were mad at someone. Now you can't do that with a phone. Now it's like, hit the gentle off button and make sure you don't bug anybody. Now, being a digital artist, I have a certain point of view on this new piece of technology. It reminds me a lot of something that I use every single day. Wacom has come out with several different boards, the Bamboo, the Intuos, many different models, and many different brands have this kind of thing where it is a tablet, a board, that you take a pen and you draw on. Now, you can't see what you're drawing on here. I call it a screenless technology, and instead, as you're drawing on the board, you need to be looking at the monitor in front of you. Most digital artists use these boards because they're much more cheap and affordable than something like maybe a Wacom Cintiq or a Wacom Companion. The truth about this technology is that as you're drawing, you have to learn and train your eyes and your hand to work together because we're also used to, to drawing directly on our pads or whatever we're drawing on and being able to see exactly what we're doing right underneath our pen. When you're going to a digital type of tablet or a screenless tablet, if you will, as you are drawing, you need to be looking up at your screen and working with your brain to work with your hand to get that cursor where you want. And this is the kind of technology that this company, this OTM's tech, is trying to bring into phones. Now the question I need to ask is, why do we need to do this? They are saying that Steve Jobs at one time made a comment that this was your best device and that was your finger and that the world of tech in lines of touch technology was really coming up and it was a really big deal. Yes, very true. These people are saying it is not the perfect piece of technology of using your finger and using touch screen and that's why they've created this pen. And they say that this pen is gonna bring you closer to your technology. It's gonna make you feel like you're connecting with it in a more natural way. I admit I would have to disagree. My very first time of picking up a tablet okay. was really quite a- You can hush. 
All right, so we're going to get right back to that here in just a second, but let me go ahead and do my little sponsor spot, if you will. I'm supported by Amazon.com, and that means that every time you guys go down to the description below and find the link that takes you to Amazon, whether it's a product that I refer to you or just going through the links that take you to Amazon that I put in the description below, you guys are supporting me because anything that you purchase during that session on Amazon, I get a cut. So it means a whole lot to me if you guys would consider going into the description, clicking on the link, and and then saving it to your favorites and saving it to your browser. That way, whenever you go to Amazon through that link, you are immediately helping me out through any of your purchases that you make. It doesn't cost you any extra other than what you were going to buy on Amazon anyway. Now, also make sure to take a look down below. There is a 30-day free trial for Amazon.com Prime waiting for you, and it's excellent. Uh, I love Prime. I don't know what I would do without it. I order everything that you guys have seen in all of my reviews on Prime. So take a look down in the description below. That link is waiting for you for 30 days three free trial all right guys thank you so much for your support it means a lot and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys get back to listening to this annoying my first time of ever using a screenless tablet i tried it out and i threw it across the room and i told myself i'd never ever use one of them again the simple thought process of connecting your brain to your hand as you're drawing in a much different format than we are usually used to using a pen and pencil on paper is something that actually requires a lot more practice a lot more thought and a lot more effort in the end it tires your brain out so basically, this item of convenience is actually much more difficult and much more technical than just using your phone and using the pen that already comes built in with it if you have something like the Note 4. The basic thing to remember is that this pen that they have created is not using any kind of technology that's working with the nib. What they have created is they've created a laser that sends a beam out and then takes the reflection coming back into the sensor, and that is how it reads where your pen is in the surfaces that you're drawing on. The negative behind this is that the laser is actually set about a centimeter or maybe a little bit less behind the actual nib. So when you're drawing, if you're trying to be precise, there is a level of offset that you're actually truly drawing. The second thing is that they've talked about that being the main part of the technology and made no mention whatsoever about the idea of actually having a pressure sensitivity. Being an artist, I believe very firmly in having the best line quality that I can get and firmness in pressure as you're using your pen on any surface. The one thing I want to have is pen pressure. I use it in real life when I use a pen. I use it in real life when I use a marker. I want that same technology to go into the technology that I'm going to use like on a Wacom Cintiq or a Wacom Bamboo or whatever Intuo system or whatever there is out there. I watched the demo video of how they actually used this device and when I was watching a lot of the things that they were doing were taking notes on the fly and using it in corporate meetings and one way they're doing that was by having several people take notes at the same time on a big screen and I thought that was a really cool piece of technology but at the same point in time everyone is doing the exact same thing having to draw on their surface while looking up at the screen ahead of them. Now I've learned that usually when I am drawing with my Intuos or with my my bamboo or whatever uh, screenless system I'm using, I have to remember that my screen and my bamboo or whatever device I'm using have to be exactly in face with each other. They were showing these people drawing from the side while looking at the screen. I do sense an issue with that because obviously your vision, your understanding of where this pen's gonna go on the screen is gonna be off. There are a lot of things that they were showing in here that they probably had professionals who have experienced this pen a lot using, but when it comes down to it, there are a lot of things that this pen has that the standard uh, consumer isn't going to understand. So my assumption is the consumer is going to pick up the pen for the first time and start using it and immediately feel like it's a cheap product. Not because it is a cheap product, because the instant that they pick it up, they're already struggling with how to use it. I personally think that this technology is not going to be good for the normal consumer. I think that someone who is experienced with a Wacom bamboo or, or tablet of any sort that is a screenless technology, I think this will make a lot more sense to them and they'll be 
able to see the usability in it. Now I admit personally, when I think about using my phone and when I think about using a pen, the reason why I bought this phone is because I want to be able to draw on the screen. We're trying to get as natural as we can here. So the idea of having to draw off the screen, I feel like we're taking a step back. The reason why most people have these bamboos and intuoses is because that at that time was the only way to communicate to your computer in the most natural form. And of course, in that, that was in no way natural in comparison to our normal drawing abilities. Now that we've had these new tablets come out, these things like um, the Microsoft Surface, um, Surface Pro 3 and the uh, tablet that I carry around, the Galaxy Note 10.1 and technology like that, it has brought us closer to a normal, a more natural feel, but at the same time, that is what we're trying to get to, and I know a couple of artists who would prefer to have that offset technology, but many of us are looking for exactly what is coming out in technology these days, which brings us closer to a natural instead of separating us from it even more. So my final impression on this just first look, as soon as I saw it and did some very basic research of it, I think that it is a unique device, and I think that it's going to need a couple versions and as time moves on things will get better maybe maybe they'll be able to put in some pressure sensitivity maybe they'll be able to do some other things but here's the honest truth it has a notification bar on it a digital notification bar and if I'm using it and I notice a notification come in my phone is right next to me and it's on and I'm using this at the same time as I'm using this so what is the necessity of having that notification bar on the pen if I'm gonna be able to see it at the exact same time while I'm using my, my phone. You may as well get yourself a uh, smartwatch, that way you can have that notification when your phone is in your pocket when you don't need it. Secondly, they might actually mention that you can actually have your phone in your pocket and use the note pen separately. And if that's the case, then you're drawing blind. You have nothing to guide you. And if you have bad handwriting or you really don't have that sense of yourself in space, as you're drawing, you may go back and look at your notes and letters may be overlapping. You may have just bad handwriting. I mean, it could be any of those things. Each one of these things is going to make this pen seem a lot less valuable to the consumer. So saying all that, I think that this is a very interesting piece of technology, and I look forward to seeing what happens to it. I'd love to get my hands on it and try it for myself, and I can see it actually being somewhat useful if it had pressure sensitivity, because you gotta admit, even a phablet, a big screen like the Note 4, can still be small if you're trying to do an actual drawing on this screen, and your hand does get in the way, or you might find that as you set your hand on your phone, it's very uncomfortable. So I can understand why something like this pen may be actually quite useful, but at the same time, I don't think the technology is quite there just yet. Now, there are a lot of other things coming out that I think are going to be really great uh, with all of the pressure sensitivities and things. I mean, just think about the Wacom Companion and all of the beauty in that. I've heard a lot of people who love that tablet like crazy, and the one that actually has the Microsoft system built into it, that's wonderful. I haven't gotten to try it myself, but I've heard from many professionals that it's very much like using a Cintiq. We have the technology that we need to give us that on-the-go art style that we love. So in the end, I feel like this pen is going to be geared more towards consumers, and that's probably why they did their marketing more towards consumers. I saw nothing in their marketing saying, hey, professionals are gonna love this. What I can see is them saying professionals who take a lot of notes, professionals who are in meetings with corporations and things who need to note fast, this is an opportunity for them. But I do feel it's going to lead to a very messy form of notes that you're going to have to then sort through when you're done with it at the end. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick review and remember I haven't looked at this pen I haven't held it in my hand I've only seen it come in on my Facebook because my mom sent it to me because she thought I'd be interested in it and I think it's very cool but I think it's going to need some work so I hope that you guys enjoyed it we'll see what happens when it comes out and I would love to get my hands on it if uh, anyone from uh, free actually sees this video and wants to send me a demo that'd be awesome love to actually get a second impression of it that would actually prove me wrong um, and I would love to be able to see that it's actually quite useful with my tech technology, and I would love to share that with the people who watch this video. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Now remember, I did do a written review on this as well, and you can read it over on my blog. Just go to timmichaelarts.com and click on the blog link, and it'll take you there where you can see that uh, one blog post, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked this video. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, and then don't forget, you can leave comments in the comment box below, and then make sure to go take a look at my other channel, Tim Michael Arts, where I do speed paints tutorials, and many other things that have to do with crazy art. 
All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time right here on Tim Michael Arts 2 with more product reviews on Tim's Toys. See you later.